despise this episode so very fucking much. Okay, so miraculous episodes are dropping out of the sky like fucking rain, fireworks or whatever, and and I'm just so backed up. I cannot afford to have 20 minute long reviews, so I will try and make everything four to five minutes long. Pray for me, guys. But okay, Desperada is about a guitarist that Jagerstone wronged, and she's out for blood, and there's this kind of theory that oh. Julika and Luca's mom might be Jagged's do- children. Jagged might be the dad. Um, I tried to say everything quickly. You just. Uh, I didn't like this episode. I started out liking it, but I absolutely hated it. There was this segment that I legit skipped where I think um, Kagami said to Marinette, Isn't Luca her boyfriend? And, Lu- and Marinette was just so bad to luca like oh my god it makes sense that he has the second chance miraculous because he's an afterthought he's like marinette's second choice and this episode kind of solidifies the fact that marinette will always choose adrian even if it's not right so she puts adrian even before her ladybug duties which is out of character now on to why i did not like this episode i hated this episode to a bastard degree because this was just torture porn for adrian like 25,316, 17 times he's been trying for months. I was raging about this in my Discord. I was like, they could have made him try for days or hours, hell, weeks at mass, but months, bitch, months. Not one month, not two months, not three months, months. Just going over the same five minutes over and over and over and over again. I feel sad for Sass because as soon as he's out of one hand, he's into another, and it's like, why? Why did you have to make Adrian seem so incompetent? It's I get they were trying to say, oh, he's perfect for the black cat, but they're kind of reinforcing that his power is reckless and he's not fit for a power that kind of like needs to be calm and thought through. So they're just putting this characteristic on Adrian where he's just not somebody who thinks things true through which is not a bad characteristic it's just they're just making him seem so fucking incompetent and his transformation was ugh. i saw on tumblr somebody said he looked like a condom and luca's transformation was wait a minute was it lit i need to watch it again it's been a while since i watched the episode Okay, yeah, at first when you see Luca's transformation, when we saw him in Star Train, he looked off, but now that we actually saw the process of him transforming, it's really cool, actually, and his weapon, I remember when he was fighting Desperada, he actually strung it, I think he was thinking he was, like, really calm and composed, so, I, I don't know, again, if you have a hero, like, Viperion and Ladybug, you can just X out Cat Noir. Like, with every new hero introduced, it's just making Cat Noir seem more and more obsolete. Again, this was just Adrian torture porn. You just see him holding himself and he's just so sad and I just really hated it. I don't I don't think I've ever hated an episode worse than this in season 3. I think Where Dad was the only one that pushed me to that extreme. And I think I even like Where Dad more than this. I even need to go back and watch that in English. But... Ah, why? Just why would you do this to my baby? What has he done to you? What, what? Thomas, Thomas, I'm addressing you. What has Adrian done to wrong you so bad in life that you put this boy in such psychologically damaging situations? Like, we know Adrian to be a perfectionist, we know him to be great at everything he does. So, um, this was said on Tumblr, but I'm kind of like rehashing it. If Ladybug chooses him, he believes, okay, Adrian was the perfect fit because as Cat Noir or as Adrian, he trusted Ladybug completely. So it was devastating to see him try over and over again because to him, okay, the reason why Ladybug keeps getting captured is not a problem on Ladybug, which we know it is because she chose Adrian over Luca. It's a problem. He feels like it's his fault. So he kept trying over and over and over again and... a lot of people are saying this is why the Ladrian ship doesn't work because they are not 
themselves around like they cannot concentrate when they're around each other and i get that but at the same time it could have been done better ladybug doesn't concentrate when adrian is around and adrian puts so much faith in ladybug that he would just do whatever so this was like an episode that kind of killed the ship that kind of showed okay it's not working so i like the fact that well mary cat was the first ship to get killed and then adrian it soon followed and now we have ladrian a hell lady cat has been dead for a long ass time is it lady cat i can't remember the ship names anymore i'm just so confused there's so many ship names in this fucking show but yeah that's kind of my thoughts on desperada did not like it hated it hated marinette how she just kept pushing luca to the back like i want luca and adrian to get together because they, Marinette doesn't deserve either either of them. They, like in the end when they were playing this little song and then they were looking at each other in the end card, I was like, I kind of ship them. And um, Alia said it herself, they have not chosen yet. And how bomb ass would it be if they choose each other? And I'm just like, please, please, please. Kagami is precious as always. I think, I think this episode comes after Ikagozen, if that's how you pronounce it, where Kagami gets her own miraculous, so yay. Uh, that's all I have to say. Did not like it. Everything was, everything else was fine. The villain was fine. The writing is blech. Everyone was acting totally out of character. Her friends, if, if I was Marina's friends, I would have bitch slapped her a long time ago. I'm sorry. Oh yeah, I just wanted to add quickly, I was seriously considering dropping this entire show Miraculous after this episode. I was like, if there's not a good episode after this, I, I give up on the show. Like, I was ready to drop Miraculous Seals of Ladybug and Caf Noir after watching Reflect Doll and Desperada because I was just sick of the Adrian abuse. But then we got Ladybug, Star Train and Feast and my faith has been revived in the show. But yeah, <laughs> that's all I wanted to see. Cut back to whatever it was I was saying. But... Yeah, I guess that's everything I have to say if I have anything more to say I might just write it up but I got a lot of shit to review right now and I think the next thing I'm going to review is Ladybug then Star Train then shit which one came out the, the other day um the, the shit what was it called the one with the senti monster that Master Fu created oh my god I got I got too much to do <laughs> but yeah oh yeah feast feast shit I, I would not have let myself rest if I didn't remember it yeah I'm looking forward to reviewing that one but yeah thanks for rising so much for clicking to watch and oh but with that being said this is TVC signing out <laughs>